Well folks, we're the first ones out on this lake here. Um, a couple spots were a little shady. About an inch and a half of ice. But now, I think we're on a solid... It's gotta be at least three. Spud bar's not going through, that's a good sign. So hopefully we can catch some fish today. I think it's gonna be a good day. And, yeah. Goal is to get a 40 inch pike on camera. That is the goal today, but it's gonna be hard to do. So I think I'm gonna drill some holes and uh, set up some tip ups, maybe do a little jigging to kill time, catch some tiny bluegills, and we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. So, the spot I wanna fish, as you can see, there's some pretty thin ice right here. Spud bar goes through first lack on over here. It's a weak hole right here, so we gotta be careful. Some actually better ice over here, it looks like. And that is why it is very important to have a spud bar. You can literally go from this. to this, or I should say this. Literally, it's crazy. It's crazy how the ice is so inconsistent this year. But, as long as we have safe ice, we're fishing. So I'm gonna put a tip up out and we're gonna see what we can catch. First hole of the season. Let's get it. Um, let's see. Tip up or iFish Pro? I guess we can just do a tip up. We'll put the iFish Pro in a different hole, but I got a really good feeling about this one. So yeah, hopefully we get a 40 incher. All right, which one of you is gonna catch me a big pike? Grab this guy. So we're using suckers today, actually. Pike suckers. I feel kind of tiny, because I've been using musky suckers. I was just targeting muskies about a month ago, so see what happens with these little boys. Hopefully we can get on a big fish here right away. Only in about three feet of water. So hopefully we can catch a big pike. Get this guy set up. Make sure the flag's in a good spot so I can see it when it pops. We are set. First one in the water, ready to go. I'm gonna set up one more and then I'm gonna do some jigging. All right. Got sucker number two going down. Send this guy on his way. Love when I got smart minnows that like to just dive straight down. That's awesome. Makes it easy on me. Slide our trigger up a little bit. And he's already tugging away. We'll get our iFish Pro set up here. There we go. Line was a little caught right there. Drop our flag. We'll put her on. Yeah, medium. Right there. All right, we are ready to rumble, I think. Should be a good day of fishing. No. Take out a little bit of this slack here in my line. Open up our bale. Right about the there. Pop our bale open. We're ready to rock. All right, let's get a big one. Get my waxy on. Drop down, let's see if we can't catch one. Oh yeah. Fish on. No 
Look at that, no hesitation. Just choked it. Unbelievable. Nice little crappie. If you wanted to eat one, that would be the size. Look at that. Just swallowed it. I'm gonna have to get a pliers to get that out. Maybe I can pop them loose. There we go. Beautiful little crappie. That only took uh, about five seconds. There he goes. See if we can't get another one. Make sure our waxy's looking good, which he is. Drop back down there, see what happens. Can we do a double? Yep, here we go. This one looks like a bluegill. Yep. We're on. So the pan fishing here seems to be pretty good. I've probably fished here literally two drops, two fish. So that's a good sign. Hungry bugger took my waxy. I'm gonna let him go. I guess he wants to come home with me. Oh, there he goes. Perfect. Hopefully we can get a flag here soon. All right, we got our first flag of the day and it happens to be the iFish Pro. Hopefully we can get something nice here. Ooh, she's thin right here. Ice just cracked a little. Not good when the line wraps around the flag. Oh yeah, we got one. Nice fish. What are ya? Ooh, big bass. Big LMB. Ooh, that thing is on hard. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. <laughs> wow. Well, I think I just caught about a six pound bass right there. I wish I had my scale on me. Hooked him right in the throat. mouth look at that oh, let's get a quick measurement on this guy and let's get him back what a absolute unit all right buddy I'm gonna keep you in the in the water all right we got our tape on us I think this guy is definitely gonna do about 20. Beautiful fish. I'm gonna get a couple pictures and I'm gonna get this big girl back. Hey, big girl measured out at 21. I took a few selfies with her. I think she's ready to go back. Just look at the girth on her. She is just filled. And there she goes. She took off nice and strong, just the way I want them to. All right, let's get a bigger fish now. We don't want to settle for those 21 inchers. I want a pike, I don't want a bass. There's plenty of these big, you know, five, six pound bass in here, but I want, I want a ginormous pike, but I'm not gonna complain. That was a beautiful bass. I'll take that any day, but I, I really want a big pike, so I'm gonna 
get a new, it seems to be suckers seem to be key. I'm gonna put a new sucker on the Cyfish Pro and uh, see what happens. All right, second play. <laughs> Second flag of the day after I just fell down. But it's important to have uh, some spikes on your boots. I'm an idiot and I don't have any. But yeah, she's spinning slowly, so I'd love to sprint over there, but I don't feel like falling through the ice. Just stop spinning. Hopefully, hopefully he's still on there. I got this one set shallow. Oh yeah, she's going. She's going. This might be a gator. Yep, fish on. Doesn't feel the biggest, but yeah, little little snake, little snake, little like 18 inch pike. Take those all day though. We'll uh, pop the hook out of this little girl and let her go. Could be a guy actually too. I don't know. I just like calling all my fish girls for some reason. All right, sorry to make your lip bleed a little bit. Later. Later, gator. 